Yeah, Clamp Lost at Random was the game with the dice. My story is a tale of <gasps> shut up! Oh, VR. Fire. But still, shut up. Oh, hey, Serda. Have you seen Yana? Something happened. She's in no state to be wandering out in the metro alone. Metro? After her bodies arranged in some sort of ritual. Please, just let Yana be all right. What was that? I keep hearing other voices on the radio. You said there were people there. <sighs> Did you not hear it? Where's Clay? Yana, is that you? The one, the one, the one. I'm seeing things. Hearing things. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Sometimes we need to become the thing we fear. To prevent something worse. Metro Awakening VR. What? Let's go! That's not what I I wanted for a new Metro game, but I, I mean, Clay has to so, play it so I can watch him play how it. How does it feel? Starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. Your dreams, magical thoughts. <gasps> All things are real unless you dream they're not. Ooh! I never played these, but I know I have to. For Vince, right? The remastered collection <laughs> brings together Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete, and Lunar 2, Eternal Blue Complete, with updated visuals, widescreen mode, and more. Instantly we see it, the time to grow and be it, when everything is pinned on <laughs> Vince! <laughs> Lunar Remastered Collection comes to PS5 and PS4 in spring 2020. Oh, that's so cool! Two updates on PS5. Shadow! And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generations as part of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie. <laughs> this update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie and arrives December 12th. <laughs> the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the Digital Deluxe Edition. Which Keanu Reeves is the voice of Shadow? Of October 25th release date. Shadow Wick? Oh, near. Or something that looks like it. <laughs> I just saw white hair and black outfit. I'm like, Near. I'm Sakaguchi, producer of Fantasian Neo Dimension. Oh, Fantasian. I'm Sakaguchi, producer of Fantasian Neo Dimension. 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 I'm Sakaguchi, producer of Fantasian Neo ファイナルファンタジーシリーズで共に歩んできた上松さんです。プレイステーション 5 know if this has come out to any other platform yet, but this was stuck on the Apple thing for a long time. Let's check in with Apple Play or whatever. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. Shh! As soon as I heard Bureau, I'm like, mm? The FBC's <laughs> research department set up a facility. The Lake House. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, I would have just kept on driving. This is the next Alan Wake 2 DLC, right? Hmm. <laughs>
Let's go. October. Oh, perfect. Of course it comes out in October. Preferably. You know the truth. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. And my brethren. Dang it. I did Until see this. I, had the honor I didn't see it, but I heard about it. Shut up. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant. What madness is this? Am I so changed? Whoa! Uh. I was not prepared to <laughs> lay beyond this threshold. future has always been written. Don't fight it, Raziel. Let's go! Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver 1 and 2 Remastered arrives December 10th, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the first game's release. 25th anniversary! Games we'll talk about that later. And Stellar Blade's original soundtrack featuring over 180 songs from the game is available on select streaming services starting today. Is all this music DMCA? But that's if I not play all. this game, am I going to be DMCA? Near? Oh, that, that, <laughs> yes. Yes. Sci-fi worlds collide in the Stellar Blade and Near Automata collaboration, coming to Stellar Blade later this year. That makes so much sense. But where's Bayonetta? When, where's the Bayonetta one? <laughs> I mean, it works. <laughs> now let's talk about what's ahead for PlayStation 4. We are beyond the edge of Japan. Don't tell me. It's, it's It couldn't be. People come north to disappear. But you... You are hunting. <laughs> And now, every Ronin here is after you. Still think you're the hunter? I mean, I can't really. Couldn't, yeah, right. Ghost of Tsushima two is that Jin Sakai? Or I mean, maybe they'll do another care, a new protagonist. I don't know. Oh, it's about 400 years later? <laughs> well, maybe. 
<laughs> he found the fountain of youth. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm excited, though. I'm going to miss Jin Sekai. Ghost of Yote. Ooh. Oh, shit. Stop announcing games. <laughs> I can't handle it! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I, I like that. I like that they're... Like, Jin's story is done. Hello, everybody, and welcome There's no canon or not canon ending. And, you know, they continue... Kind of the same series, but um, different place, different protagonists, different time. So I've been I've been saying that this needs a re remaster. I saw some people saying that um, like don't remaster the game. Make we need a remake or something. And I think a remaster is fine because. Um, unless you have the OG hardware, unless you have a PlayStation 1, I think it's really hard to play this game. I mean, maybe there is a way to play it, but when I played it on, um, Steam, I played the series on Steam, and it was really bad. Like, the ports are not good. And I couldn't use the controller for the first one. Like there was no, I couldn't get controller support working and I needed mods to play the other two like properly or the other ones properly. And um, blood, o when I played Blood Omen 2, like I was getting these weird glitches and everything was just, no, it, it was really frustrating. And the funny thing is like, I'm just excited that this series they're they're looking at it again and they're they might be coming out with more because they have the web comic thing or the um it's not a web comic but like the um the digital novel i think is what it's called coming out you think it's just a money grab no i think it's um testing the waters to see like how much interest there is i will confess that I'm prob I don't even know if I'm going to play these because I'm just excited that there's hope that there's going to be like a continuation because in all honesty I don't I didn't really enjoy the gameplay of these games too much when I played them. I did not fall in love with these games because of the gameplay. But the everything else I did, like literally everything else, the world the story, the characters, the voice acting, the atmosphere is like top notch.